Hi guys, today I am briefly going to go over how my cleaning routines all fit together. I have been asked about this a lot recently, so I'm just going to explain it a little bit and hopefully it will all make sense to you. I am also going to go over my zones in our new home and give you some tips for breaking up your home into zones for detailed cleaning. I love this way of cleaning. I'll explain exactly what I mean by zone cleaning as well. So let's start with my cleaning schedule. If you have been watching me for a while, you know that I do a morning routine an evening routine, and then once a week I do like a big cleaning of our home. I promise you I do not clean all day long. I like to have a clean home, no big surprise there, <laughs> but one of the main reasons that I do routines is because I don't want to spend all day cleaning, and they have helped me so much, and I have been doing them through having a baby and a toddler, you know, all of the different stages um, with raising children. I have two teenagers now, in case you uh, didn't know that. So they have really worked for me. I also did uh, morning and evening routines without technically calling them that when I was working full time, when I was a college student and everything, and they work so well. So I think it starts the night before. My nighttime routine is basically cleaning up the kitchen after dinner, and honestly, it does not take me that long. I do a lot of things, but because I do them every day, it doesn't take me that long. I would say it doesn't take any more than a half an hour, and sometimes, depending on what I make for dinner, I can get it done in about 15 minutes. Also in my routine, I plan for the next day, so I make sure I pick up my clothes, write a to-do list, get anything I need out for the next day. And I do have a video on my nighttime routine and I will link that below. So that really starts the day off well. If you do a nighttime routine, when you wake up, your house is you know generally picked up and you're all set for the day. My morning routine, is again, basically cleaning up after ourselves, putting the dishes in the dishwasher, um, if there are crumbs, wiping those up, cleaning up the bathroom, stuff like that. I have two morning routines. I have my full morning routine, and I will link that below, and then I have a quick morning routine, which might be really helpful for those of you who work outside the home. It takes less than 15 minutes, and that is what I do when I need to leave the house early in the morning on Sundays when we go to church or if I um, go somewhere early in the morning and I'm not going to be home until later, that is what I do. So I will link both of those videos below. Now, I also have one day a week when I do like a full cleaning, dusting, vacuuming, washing the hardwood floors, cleaning the showers, um, all of those things. And I have a video on that as well. I also have one from my old house and my old house was a lot smaller. So I will link those below. I do my big cleaning on Thursday. There's no magic day to do it. That's just what works for me. So that's kind of how everything fits together. And like I said, I promise I don't spend all day cleaning. I can get things done quickly because it's a routine and I do it all the time. Now I'm going to talk about zone cleaning. Zone cleaning is basically breaking up your home into zones. I have eight zones in my house and I'll go over there and just I'll go over that in just a moment. So like the kitchen will be one zone, the master bedroom will be one zone. And basically what you're doing in those areas are things that don't need to be done every week. So things like thoroughly wiping out the refrigerator, wiping out the pantry, cleaning the oven would be things in the kitchen. They don't necessarily have to be done every week. Maybe a quick wipe down of the refrigerator, but during the zone cleaning time, you're really taking the time to get in there and, and really clean it. So in the master bedroom, um, things like dusting your light fixtures or ceiling fan, your baseboards, um, straightening up your closet, straightening up your drawers, things like that. And 
So you'll work in one zone per week. It's Monday through Friday, only about 15 minutes a day. That is part of my full morning routine. Um, but if you don't have time in the morning, you could always do it later in the evening. Now, the reason I love this is because you never have a day or multiple days like in the spring where you have to just pour all this time into um, cleaning the windows and doing all this stuff. Also, your home is always clean. Um, you're just spending 15 minutes a day doing those things and by the time you go through each zone, it'll take eight weeks and then you start back over and you're doing the kitchen. I always start in the kitchen. You'll, you're doing the kitchen again and by that time, you know, there might be some crumbs or, or whatever in your pantry that need to be wiped up and you're going to clean that and as you go along, it's just it doesn't take that long and especially when you get in the habit of doing it like that your house is virtually clean all the time and I just love that way of cleaning I forgot to mention I mentioned this lots of times I did get the idea for zone cleaning from flylady.net and honestly I've been asked about her website and all of that I have not looked at it in years and years I picked up zone cleaning probably about 15 years ago I think it's been it was when my youngest was a baby so about 15 years ago and I got the idea from her website and my zones are different from hers and what I do in each zone is different but I did want to give her credit because that's where I got the idea okay moving on to what zones I have in my new house. They're basically the same as my old house, but my new house is a lot larger and there's just more to clean and I didn't want it to feel overwhelming. I did want to add, when you start out zone cleaning, it takes a while before you really get it down and really get to all of the areas in your home and it, it just takes a while. We have lived here for a year and I'm still fine tuning it. I, I had the basic idea and, and all of that for my old house and um, I worked it out but there are just a couple things that you realize, oh, you know, that isn't part of my zone cleaning and I need to get to that. So don't worry if you know, you start out and, and you have to add to it or, or make it work in a way, you know, that's different than mine. That's completely fine. All right, let's jump into the zone. My first zone is the kitchen. I recommend starting in the kitchen because the kitchen, we're always in our kitchen and we want it to be clean so we can prepare our food and everything. And the kitchen has so much to do in it. So if, if we start in zone one and I'm showing you everything, don't be discouraged. I would say the kitchen is definitely the hardest, but breaking it down into one or two tasks a day doesn't feel overwhelming. So the kitchen is first. Because uh, my house has more to it now. I was feeling a little overwhelmed doing the kitchen all in one week. It just felt like I was spending too much time. So what I did is zone two, so the next week, is my dining room and breakfast nook. I don't have a lot in there to do, so I added part of the kitchen into that week. So zone one is the kitchen, zone two is, zone two is finishing up the kitchen, dining room and breakfast nook. Zone three in our home is the master bath and then we also have a half bath that I get to all in the third week. Zone four is the master bedroom. I also will straighten up my drawers and my closet in that zone. So everything in the master bedroom, closet, dresser is in zone four. Zone five is my living room entryway, which would include a coat closet, my front porch area, and wiping down the things, furniture and things on my patio. Now that might seem like a lot all in one week, but for me, there isn't much to do in my living room because I dust it uh, once a week and everything. 
and it's basically like baseboards and stuff like that doing the inside of the windows so I can fit all of that into one zone. Zone 6 is my boys living area so they have their bedrooms, a bathroom and then like a little sitting area which doesn't require a whole lot of work. Now I have teenagers so they are able to do a lot of it and then there are just a few things that I do. Sorry guys, my camera cut out and I didn't realize it and kept talking, but I did want to do a voiceover in case some of you are just listening to this video. So zone 7 is my husband's office, my desk, and any paperwork or files that need to be just decluttered. Zone 8 is the laundry room, which doesn't take a whole lot of time, so I also added the storage area and basement if I need to do any work in there. I also wanted to mention if you were doing my clean and organize home challenge, I did explain this but I know some people came in in the middle or whatever. That was basically going through the zones but taking a much longer time. When I did my zone cleaning at my old house, that was something that I had done for a long time, like years and years, and it just clicked for me and worked out really well. Now, if, the f if you start zone cleaning the first time and you haven't taken care of those areas in a while, or you have a lot of clutter, or your kitchen cabinets have lots of things in there that you need to get rid of first, it can feel overwhelming to just go in and um, wipe out the cabinet or or do a little cleaning because you have a lot of stuff. So what the Clean and Organize Home Challenge did was take a little more time in each zone and I gave you um, specific tasks and it should have only taken around 15 minutes a day. So in, in the kitchen, the first one was clear off clutter on the countertops and then it's clear out clutter in the cabinets and so on and I will leave that playlist below. I would highly recommend going through that if you've never done any type of zone cleaning or if you have a lot of clutter that you would like to get rid of first and then it won't feel overwhelming. You can always catch up because the videos aren't going anywhere. They will be here for you. So I hope all of that made sense to you and I hope it was a good explanation on how I do my cleaning. I will be doing zone one in the kitchen and I would love for you to join me and we will go through our home and this is basically maintaining it. So if you've already gone through the clean and organize home challenge, this is just going back to those zones, you know, wiping out the fridge, wiping out the pantry and things like that. Now, I wanted to say that I know sometimes when I do series, it starts off really great and then less and less people watch or less and less people are interested. And I want to make sure that I'm doing videos that the majority of my viewers want to see. So I don't want to lock myself into eight weeks of zone cleaning if it starts to fade off um, because I do have a lot of cleaning and organizing videos that I want to do. But I'm happy to share if people are enjoying them, finding them helpful, and watching them. So I just wanted to throw that out there, but I am going to start in the kitchen and go from there, and hopefully you guys will find it helpful and we'll continue on from there. Thank you all for watching and definitely be looking for zone one, which will be the kitchen, and that will be up next Monday.